Hello and welcome to ERPWebTutor.com and in this tutorial we are going to show you how to create a user account in Oracle Fusion. Now <clears throat> unlike EBS in Oracle Fusion we have a different uh, architecture so the way you have to create the users and manage the roles and responsibilities in for the user that is actually done in the Oracle Identity Manager or the Oracle Identity Management System. So depending on what role your user has, you will have access or you will not have access to this particular area. Similar to our sysadmin in uh, R12 or EBS, so you had uh, the sysadmin or system administrator responsibility to create the user accounts. And if you did not have the sysadmin, then you would not have access to the creation of user forms. Similarly, if you do not have the right role, so you need to have the IT security manager role uh, in order to access the identity management system. <clears throat> so here, if you have the right role, then once you log in, uh, you will uh, see this self-service page, which is the welcome to identity manager self-service. Now, this is the, the home page or the welcome page that you will see once you log into the Oracle Identity Manager. Now, in order to create uh, a new user account, you will have to go to Administration. Uh, there's a URL on the top right of the screen. So click on Administration. And here, that will take you to the user screen. So here you can search for a user or you can create a new user, okay? So you can search for uh, different users if you want to assign new roles or if you want to revoke roles for users. So you will search. So you have the regular search and you also have an advanced search uh, functionality here. Now, <clears throat> in order to create a new user, uh, you can either go through this icon uh, for create user or you can just directly click on the create user on your dashboard. So this is the dashboard. So you can click on uh, the create user. Okay, so let's click on create user. <clears throat> and once you click, this is the page that opens up. So it has different sections, as you can see, <clears throat> the basic user information, account settings, account effective dates, the provisioning dates and other user attributes. Okay, so <clears throat> the standard information that you would normally use or enter for creating an implementation user, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create this user. Uh, let's, the first name is not required. So I'm going to just put test. Uh, the middle name, I will just leave it blank. And then the last name is also test. Uh, if I want to enter an email, I can do that as well. And then uh, on the right hand side, you have manager. Who is the manager for this employee? Again, this is not a required field. Now, <clears throat> organization which organization this user belongs to. So you can just say search. And then by default, I'm going to select this accelerated users. This is a seeded organization. So even before you set up your org structure or enterprise structure, uh, you can assign the user to this particular organization, uh, which is the seeded. And then this is not really an HR organization. This is just for uh, a default organizations when you're creating the users. So I'm going to select this organization and add uh, the user type. You have different <clears throat> option, whether it's a full time employee, other intern, contractor. So let's say this is this user is going to be an implementer. So I'm going to select consultant. <clears throat> if you have any display name that you want to enter, you can do that as well. Again, this is not required. Uh, next, the key information that you need to enter is you need to enter the, the user login. What is the username? So in this case, I'm going to enter the username as say demo HR. I'm going to enter a password. I'm going to repeat the password. And when is this account effective from? And when is this account uh, ending? Especially if you are uh, a consultant, uh, you will probably have an end date, uh, especially the 
the client admin or the FA admin, whoever has access, uh, will probably end your account once the project is over. So again, if you do not want to put any date, you can leave it blank. So by default, it will take today's date and then it will leave the end date open. Okay, so if you want your user to uh, terminate on a certain date, you will put the end date. Uh, then the provision dates. So when is this uh, user having the provision dates and then when is the deprovisioning date? So you can enter those as well. Now, <clears throat> the other user attributes, you can enter the country, the department number, the common name, employee number. These are more for an employee perspective. So if you are creating a user account for an employee, you will most likely uh, enter these information. And then finally, the FA attributes. So these are the sysadmin or the FA admin attributes. So again, for this particular uh, implementation user, I'm not going to assign or add these kind of values. So I'm just entering the information that is required for uh, creating an implementation user. Okay. So once this information are entered, we will go ahead and save this. So at this point, what we have done is we have just created the, the user account. And once we created the user account, yeah, we can see that you know we can still modify. So these are the attributes for the user. So we have all the different tabs that we will you know go through. So these are the information that we just entered. So once we entered, you can see that there are multiple tabs that got enabled. Okay. And then on the top, you have the reset password. We have lock account and the reset password will reset the password. Uh, the lock account that the employee will or the user will not be able to access. We can disable the user and we can also delete the user. Okay. Now, the next key thing, the important part is the roles. So by default, you can see that when we uh, created this user, the default role all users uh, that got assigned to this particular user. Now, for an implementation perspective, like we were saying in our previous uh, functional setup manager videos, so we are going to you know, log in as this user and we are going to perform implementation task. So, so in order to do that, we need to assign certain roles to this particular user. So the three important roles that I'm going to assign, I'm going to click on assign assign roles okay and then uh, it will open this search screen and I'm going to search for uh, the roles so first one is called uh, IT security manager so I can just uh, type in IT security and say search and it will find so I'm going to add this one so this will allow this user to access the Oracle Identity Manager or OIM. Okay. Now I'm going to assign the two other roles, the Application Implementation Manager and Application Implementation Consultant. Okay. So Application Implementation. So I just put Application implementation manager and implementation consultant. I don't want to give application implementation administrator. Okay. So that would be a more of a security issue. You don't give this administrator role to any consultant. So the next one, I'm going to assign the application implementation manager as well. So as you can see, the search screen it actually uh, reduces the list. Uh, it does not show you the, the roles that are already assigned. So before, when we search for application implementation, it was showing uh, the application implementation consultant and manager and administrator, all the three. So now, since the consultant is already assigned, it is not showing the consultant role. So I'm going to assign the application implementation manager. <coughs> So I'm done with uh, assigning the roles. So it's very simple. See, once I just add the roles, the roles are there. So it is already saved. So you can see that the message, the selected roles have been assigned successfully to the user. So it's not that you add and then you have to save again. 
the moment you add it gets saved to the user okay so this is how you're going to create a user and assign the roles now depending on what kind of user if you're creating an employee you're going to assign employee role if you're creating uh, an employee who has uh, manager capabilities then you're going to assign the manager role so depending on what kind of access or responsibility the this particular employee or user will have then you will assign the appropriate roles now this part is very important so for this tutorial what we are showing you is mostly to uh, to create an implementation user so when you first act, get access to the application you're going to create your uh, implementation users and this is how you do it and these are the roles that you assign to that implementation user so that will be all for this video if you have any questions definitely uh, reach out to us at um, admin at erpwebtutor.com and for more useful uh, videos on oracle ebs and fusion definitely visit www.erpwebtutor.com thanks for watching